Here's your first alert weather forecast from Chief Meteorologist Lexi Walker. Welcome back to Good Morning Texoma on this Tuesday. 612 is the current time and these showers and thunderstorms continue to be moving towards the southeast. They were a bit on the slower side just about 40 minutes ago. Now they are up to about 20 miles per hour as they do move towards the southeast. But the most frequent lightning and heavy rainfall is situated over Tillman County uh, or surrounding Tillman County. Anyway, Chattanooga, Granfield, Frederick, Davidson, uh, even south of uh, Snyder is seeing all of this activity and I mean the rain is pretty heavy and the hail sizes are also pretty decent so far this morning. Radar has been estimating those hailstones to be around say P to nickel size. Now at the latest radar scans indicating some quarter sized hail just towards the west of Frederick uh, along Highway 5C. If you happen to be heading out and about this morning as many are returning back to work after the long ho uh, holiday weekend, give yourself plenty of time and that extra time to get to your destination safely. We're still under a severe thunderstorm watch for the the next 47 minutes. This goes until 7 o'clock in the morning. Likely it'll be extended because of what is still ongoing. And in fact, we still have additional activity that is in the forecast as we head into the day today. Storms looking to be off and on, not going to be a complete washout, but here's what you can expect in those strongest of storms. We're looking at some golf ball size tail. Wind gusts between 70 and 80 miles per hour. Flooding that is going to remain localized. Precipitation has been falling at a rate between two and three inches so far. With additional rainfall on top of already saturated grounds, we'll still hold on to that threat. And of course, there is a tornado threat on the table today. It's in the near zero category. It's low and can't be ruled out completely. Activity is still likely, though, not only for the day today, but for Thursday, Friday. But some good news Wednesday and Saturday don't appear to be as stormy or even rainy for that matter. Nonetheless, rain gear is still going to be needed as those high temperatures for the week ahead are looking to mostly be into the 80s.